Titles, descriptions and tags play a crucial role in getting your images found on Clickersnap and they have to be done properly. Put a little bit of work into this and it will pay dividends. This is about quality over quantity. Maybe you will upload a thousand, two, three, four, five thousand images onto Clickersnap, but if you don't title, describe, and tag them appropriately, it's very unlikely anyone will ever see them. So you're not going to get paid views or promote images which you wish to sell through the Clickersnap e-commerce system if you have that type of account. Let me show you. If I do a search on Clickersnap for a wooden boat with lotus leaves. I run the search and bingo, here we go, wooden boat and lotus leaves, which is one of my images. But more importantly, if you run that same search on Google Images, that same images is coming up within Google Images. If we click on it and have a look, there it is. If I think, wow, that's kind of what I was looking for, let's visit the page, that is going to take me directly to my album on Clickersnap where that image is shared and posted. There it is at the bottom there. This has a double effect in that if your images are set into albums, the link takes you to the album and visitors are likely to view even more of your photographs on arriving in your account on Clickersnap. So let's just take a little look at how we do this. I have just uploaded this image from my hard drive. Currently its file name is PV232 Geometry Lasolinus 31. Is anyone likely to search for that? I think it highly unlikely. As yet there is no description, but you can see there are already many tags included in my upload. If you use a piece of software such as Adobe Lightroom or Bridge or any other piece of software that allows you to add keywords to the metadata of your images, Clickersnap will take those keywords from the metadata and add them when you import the image. Let me show you. Here is this image in Lightroom. If I pop into the library module, you can see here are the keyword tags that I have added to these photos. There are words such as abandoned, against the light, backlit, beautiful, blue, building, circles, cloud, cloudy, geometric, geometry, golden hour, horizon, Lasolinus, because this is where it was taken. It's a lagoon just beyond Lasolinus. There's a, it's a landscape. It's on Lanzarote. There's a lot of stuff about light going on in this photo. I put my name because I took it and someone might search for photos by Mike Brown. Ocean, because there's the sea beyond. Orange, pattern, pink. Rays, because there are rays of light from the sun. Salt, because these are salt pans. Therefore, I've added salt pan as one keyword phrase. The two words separate uh, are separate, but they're separated from other keywords by commas. Salt pan as one word. It's not enough just to do one word. Think of all the different alternatives that someone might use in an image search. Sea, sky, sky, sparkle because the salt is sparkly. Square because we have square shapes. Stone, there are stone walls, stonework, stone work and stonework. Separate words. Sunset, warm, white, windmill and windmills. All of these keywords have now been imported with my image. When you're keywording, you really do need to use words which describe the photo. Don't just pop in one or two words which are kind of close like sunset, sea, sky, because think how many other photos will have those same keywords. Be original, but also be very, very specific about the photo. When it comes to adding your title, then also add a title that is specific to the image that in some way describes it. For example, I could call this Into the Distance or Into the Sunset, The Road to the Horizon. All very dramatic, but the problem is it says nothing at all about the picture, so it is not going to help you have your photo found. So I'm going to call this Golden Hour Sunset with abandoned with abandoned windmills or we could call it abandoned windmills at golden hour sunset i think i like that better you see how very quick and easy it is to change these things 
I think that's a great title. Put in a little bit of work here. Don't just throw in the first thing that comes to your mind because this will help your images be found. The description is a very similar thing. You need to ensure the description says something about the picture. Also that it's of something that's of interest to the people looking at the photo. Because if it's of interest they're going to stay there for a little longer, they're going to look at your picture for longer and it was likely to convert that view into a paid view. How do we do a description? My preferred method is to write them out on a Word document so that I've got it all there. There's more space than there is in the little window on Clickersnap and it's very quick and easy to copy and paste it. Again, the description needs to include keywords and things that are evocative and describe the image. Don't just say something like, we were up late after a cool party and this is what we saw, wasn't it cool? It says nothing about the image. You can read it for yourself if you wish to pause this video. But all of these words are relevant. So let's just copy all of that from my Word document and simply paste it here into the description and it's all done. If I suddenly think I want to add some additional tags here which I hadn't thought of then I can click into the little box here and add more tags. For example I could add emotive keywords such as moody and then hit the enter key and it has now appeared in with my keywords. Emotive keywords are also very, very useful because somebody might search for a moody sunset with an abandoned windmill. Suddenly that becomes very relevant to this image. Once everything has been done, all we have to do is click confirm and our image has now been put into my images. Here it is here. There are currently no views because we've only just this moment done it. Put in some thought, really consider what the words you're going to use are and do this properly because it will make an enormous difference.